When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Hey, Ben and Kelly. Is it weird that I'm actually a little nervous to message you both, LOL? <laughs> ah, that's not my question, LOL. Anyway, <laughs> I really like a guy that I've been going on dates with for about a month. Okay. He's a few years older than me. I'm 32. All right. We've done all the date stuff, like gone to coffee, went to dinner, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But when I went to his house, I was shocked. His house was full of game trophies. Okay. Not the trophies you win for place in third at YMCA soccer, but I'm talking <laughs> animal heads. Oh, okay. <laughs> and not just a deer head. I'm talking a stuffed bear, bison head, moose head, squirrel, rabbit, alligator, caribou, and a freaking zebra. Uh, oh. To say I was a bit put off would be an understatement. Uh-huh. In the moment, I just said, wow, that's a lot of animal heads. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to which he said, yeah. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Oh. Don't get me wrong. I get hunting deer. We live in Indiana. My dad hunts deer. You hunt deer for meat. You don't hunt a zebra, except for the reason to say I hunted a zebra. Okay. So what's your take on this? Mm. Is it a sign of a guy who wants to tell the world, look at what a big man I am? (laughs) Is it a red flag? I don't think he's ever been married before. But I'm more than a little weirded out about what I may be getting myself into. Thanks, guys. Anna, the animal lover. Wow, Anna. What a... I I think it's weird that he didn't prepare you before you went to his house. Does he understand how unusual that is? Like, I, I understand... I mean, because especially if you've been dating about a month, you've gone out to dinner a few times, you've gone out for coffee a few times, you know, maybe maybe you've kept it slow and casual. That's fine. That's great. But I feel like, wouldn't it be natural in that time to bring up hobbies? Like, hey, what do you like to do? Oh, you know, I like to go jogging. I like to do CrossFit. I like to collect stamps. I oh, hunt exotic animals. I hunt exotic animals and yeah. collect their carcasses on my wall. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I well, it, he should probably start to be aware if he's not already that that is going to be a little shocking. That yeah, I got to think, many people. I got to think that is. Yeah, yeah. I got to think that that's going to be probably a a little bit of a whoa. Okay. Yeah, um, this is more than the deer on the on the wall. And and I get maybe if you've got a man cave and there is a yeah, you've got a a deer head on the on the wall or a buck or whatever. You know, I've. Gone. She says the house is full of them, yeah. so it doesn't, yeah, so it doesn't sound, sound like, like it's contained, contained to one room. To one, like yeah, mm-hmm. this is my hunting room. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I mean, is that okay? So take take hunting deer car, hunting exotic animals out of the picture, and what if she went to his house? And his entire house was covered wall to wall in like sports memorabilia frames. That's different. Is it? Yeah. I think that she has the probably, it sounds like the biggest problem with like a zebra. Mm hmm. Cause there's typically, that's, that's not, it's not zebra hunting season anywhere. I don't think. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think in the United States we have a designated, zebra hunting season i don't think so i'm not well versed in the hunting Hang world but it's just, not let me just check typical i know that there are like exotic hunting excursions for like really rich people we have seen that before yeah so i was gonna say is is he sitting on a you know some bank uh, well, is this dude loaded I, I feel like most of the time if you're hunting zebra i i just i would be interested to hear the zebra backstory and if it's that doesn't sound like that's one of those um, species of animals that are fine to hunt all the time because we well, have plenty. It Is says it? okay. So quick zoobal, zoobal, <laughs> quick Google search. Uh-huh. Zebras are an excellent exotic species to hunt year round in Texas. Oh really? Okay, I did. But not I don't know think that. they're native to Texas. Okay. What are you doing going to the zoo? <laughs> I, mean, I don't, yeah. Like, I, okay, all right. But if Google tells you it's fine, 
I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Okay, anyways, all right. So, so okay, so maybe that, because I was automatically thinking, is that Africa. even legal? Well, well, and I'm thinking he's going to Africa or whatever. Sure, because exactly. That's, right, 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 right. Okay, right. so. But, but sounds like that's fine. That was the biggest thing that might have been a red flag in my mind. Like, is he doing illegal Illegal hunting? poaching or hunting. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Totally, it totally, totally. It doesn't sound like he is, though. I don't know. I would still love to hear the backstory. All right, 502 795 Would love to hear your thoughts on this or... What's the most wild thing that you have seen in your new boyfriend or girlfriend's place? Can you beat exotic animal heads? The Museum of Animal Heads? (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. All right, so we'd love to hear your stories and thoughts on this coming up next. When you find out your boyfriend hunts exotic animals... And you never mentioned it yeah. on any of your dates. All right, so Anna, the animal lover, is what she's asking us to call her. She uh, has, has been seeing this guy about a month, went over to his house, discovered he's got a house full of animal trophies. Like, we're talking, yes, deer, but then things like bison, zebra, bears. Uh, stuffed bear. Yeah, yeah. squirrels, Alligator. all that stuff. Yeah. Right, exactly. Was, was really like... Wow, that is unusual. Yeah, and then and then you know I was thinking I'm like, is this guy maybe just putting on a, a front? Is he actually, or is he just, because you, you can buy those things on the internet too? You know, you could. Shauna says on Facebook, actually in other countries they hunt zebra and eat it just like we hunt deer and eat them. Yeah, to well, hunt is a skill that not all have, and he's proud of what he's done. Other countries also hunt dog. And that cats, true. And, okay. and eat them too. But you know, right. we domesticated them here, and and they're our furry little friends. Okay. And then now, this is a really good point. Uh, Lindsay says it doesn't sound like you're that compatible. You're an animal lover. He's a guy that loves to kill and display animals. Do the math. Mm. Haley says hobbies. I feel like you're usually talking about on dates. Was this never brought up? I don't feel like you'd be as thrown off if it was mentioned before you went to his house. Not mentioning it is a red flag to me. Okay, so yeah, this. I think this is going to come down to a compatibility issue. Like this doesn't sound like this is going to jive now with your values the, at all. For the other side, Brittany says I don't really think it's that serious. It is a hobby of his. I would say that that is not something I would necessarily be compatible with, but it's not necessarily indicating anything is wrong with him either. If it bothered you, then maybe it's more of a different values thing than it really is like a serious problem. Yeah, I think that's where yeah, we're at. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, the fact that you're calling yourself Anna the Animal Lover kind of gives us a little insight of where you are. And Yeah, that's what Jessica said. I think your uh, signature yeah, says it all. Yeah, yeah you're never going to be okay with him trophy hunting if it already bothers you on day one. Yeah, exactly. I've seen it's, his, I've seen his place, here, yeah. Here's what you need to do. You need to start when you go over to his place the next time. You need to start naming them. Oh, Oh, hi. Hi, Bob the Bear. Hi, Bobby the Bear. Oh, you precious thing. Hi, Zippy Zebra. Zippy the Zebra. Uh, no, Zach. Zach the Zebra. Zach, That's a better name. Zachy. Zach. Hey, oh, Zach Zebra. Zachy. Oh, hey, Carl the Caribou. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Start naming them little precious <laughs> names. See if you can put little, uh, like, dress them up and put put little hats on them or things How's it like that. going, Steve the Squirrel? <laughs> oh, you having a good day? Oh, hi, little buddy. Oh. Pat, Pat. Pat, Pat. Here's Al the alligator over there. Yeah. All right. So, I'll see you later, alligator. Okay. As you're leaving. That's what you said. Yeah. So, Anna, I think that we're saying, look, maybe not a huge red flag in the sense that he, like, he's someone you should worry about. But right. But maybe it's a, a just a different, the whole attitudes, values, and beliefs thing that are so important in making a relationship last and being on the same, you know, page with. Maybe you don't align so much with his um, values. I think for for you, this is this is different than oh, he's a golfer. He likes to go. <laughs> yeah, it's different he than seeing to go golf trophies of like right. his golfing thing. Or, his golfing tournament trophies right. are going to be different aesthetically <laughs> than all the animal heads throughout the house. Yeah, exactly, maybe a little so, bit different. You need to consider that. All right. Well, hey, good luck. Keep us posted. Um, but yeah, I think the next time maybe you go over and you just n- start naming them, <laughs> giving them, giving them very, give them very feminine names, maybe 
<laughs> yeah. That might be good, too. Oh, give them feminine names? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we, we dive deeper into, all right, what what is what is the, did you actually hunt all of these animals? Yeah. Is I, this something you do all the time? Obviously, I just, this is yeah. going to be a, a, another conversation that you're going to need to have with them to dig deeper. But Right. Uh, like, the biggest question is, if we ever were to cohabitate, mm-hmm. are you going to be insistent on these hanging on all, all of our walls? Yeah. Yeah, this is not going to go with the drapes. I don't Sorry. think that's going to be a space she wants to exist in. Right. All right. Well, hey, good luck. Keep us posted. That is group therapy.